there's no sign of the grocery store that used to be on this very busy road back in 1986. But that grocery store was the scene of a murder that changed three families' lives. Prosecutors say that John Hubbard was just closing down the local grocery store back in January of 86 when two men hid inside waiting to rob the store. This week, one of those men's cases came before a Clinton County judge. Roger Ruth Ruff was 18 at the time that he helped another man carry out Hubbard's murder 36 years ago. He got a life sentence for the crime, but some people he works with training dogs says he's a different man now. Every time I go in, Roger is one of my go to's if I have questions like, you know, how's this dog doing? Um, you know, how's I can honestly say like he seems to have. Oh, how do I want to say it like he seems to have learned from his mistake back then. Because Ruth Ruff was given a life sentence for his role in Hubbard's murder, his attorney was petitioning the court to get him resentenced and possibly released based on the time he's already served. But Eaton County Prosecutor Doug Lloyd says he argued against that with the victim's family in mind. Can you imagine even today how awful the Christmas and New Year season must be for that family? John Hubbard has missed birthdays, he's missed anniversaries, He's missed all the little things of life. A Clinton County judge agreed with Lloyd's argument to let the sentence stand for now. That could change after decisions surrounding juvenile sentencing in higher courts is decided. However, Tony Gant of Nation Outside says everyone deserves a second chance. Right now, what we have in the state of Michigan is this sense of perpetual punishment where we punish people for the rest of their life for one mistake, often a mistake they made at a very early age. Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.